Today we're going over Sidekick. This is tape three of the Street Fighting Kicking series. And today I'd like to go over how to use a sidekick in a fight. Sidekicks, unfortunately in the movies, are very flashy. People love that big step and that scream and that throw and they like to knock people over. It's very big and people miss a lot with that. Personally, in a street fight, I want to use these as low, low targets. A couple basic things, keep in mind. I see people do this a lot. When they throw this kick, they hit with what they call the blade of the foot. Don't ever do that. You're going to break your foot on a real target. If you take the middle of your foot to your heel, that's where you want to hit. Because it's supported by the bone. Right? I want this support. It's no different than the fist. I want this supported by this. I don't want to go like this where it's not supported and there's nothing behind it. That's how you get hurt. You do want to curve your foot a little bit just because it tightens the ankle enough so there's no slop and it's not flopping around. Not like a fist where you clench it enough so it doesn't buckle. But make sure it has a little curve and that you hit with the back. Sidekick is exactly what it's called. It's a sidekick. As a general rule, I don't use this kick a lot because most of the time I'm faced up. When I'm faced up, I want to be using front kicks because it's easier for me to throw them. But you do run into situations where people do come to you from the side or the way you step puts you in that position. So if I was like this and he was coming at me and I had a lot of time, yeah, I could throw that kick. And I could throw it with a lot of power. But if you're late on that kick, that guy's going to jam me and then I'm going down. I'm real hesitant to do that unless I know I have him dead to rights. Where I like to throw this kick is generally after I hurt them. I don't usually open with this kick. I use it after I ding them. So a lot of times after I've hit somebody really good and you see that opening on the leg, what will happen is, is I'll throw it low and on the inside. I don't like this kick to the outside as much. Again, the leg is very padded on the outside. They can take a lot of abuse. But when you hit them on the inside of the knee, it buckles pretty easy. Or the ankle. So if he's got a foot out and I've managed to sidestep him. Look, I'm not, I could front kick him, but maybe I want to go that way. Maybe there's another person. A lot of times I'll throw that kick like this and I can continue to move. I'm not opposed to this to the back. I like these kicks like this. Again, if I was coming to him, I'd probably use a front. If I was choosing to go away, I would probably use a side kick. The other nice thing about side kicks is you can sneak them into target areas you can't sneak other kicks into. If he's standing like this, I really don't have the room to throw a front kick because I'm too close. And I can't get to his other leg because this leg's in the way. But if I pick the leg up correctly, I can work around this leg to get to that leg. I do this a lot from the back. I'll come in this way and I'll sneak in around that leg. Because I'm picking it up forward, it gives me an angle around. So as I come this way, a lot of times I can throw that shot if I want to go into the inside of the leg. Can't really do that with a front kick. Personally for me, side kick is not my first choice of kick. First choice of kick is always, always, always the front kick. But it's a good kick to know if you end up on a funny angle or you end up on a funny direction or someone comes to you from a direction you're not ready for. Or if you're just on an odd angle, right? I have to just make a quick shot in here or a quick shot in here or whatever. So the rules of the side kick are pretty simple. Kick low. Kick the targets that you know are really damaging. Don't start with it. The reason I don't start with it is if I throw a side kick, as a general rule, I have to lean a little bit. And then I have to come all the way back to fight with my hands. A lot of times I'll hit them, and when I know they're in a bad position, then I'll sneak this up inside and I'll throw that kick because I really don't need to go right away to two and three. So keep them low, go to legitimate targets, and it'll make you a much better fighter. This is Bill Coney for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.